Hi everybody! Um, welcome to my sketchbook tour. This is a sketchbook that I completed over the course of... I don't know, I want to say a little bit less than a year? Yeah, this will be a little bit of a chatty video where I just kind of explain everything. If you want a quicker video, I'll have just like a plain flip through video. So let's jump into it. This is a flying spirit sketchbook. I got it at Little Tokyo. It's really nice. It's got like a little kind of Da Vinci thing on the back. And it's got like the paper story. So that's really neat. And I've also got this sticker on the front by Lee Ellickson, who is a pretty cool YouTuber. You probably already know about her. So, yep. Now the inside. This is the cover of my sketchbook. I made it pretty late. It's like one of the last things I did. I usually leave the first few pages blank because nerves. So I just went in later on and filled this in with like just something really easy with wash and acrylic. And then my name up on top. Then over here we've got some tangerines and a little picture I made. I did this with Tombos and colored pencils. These are some character illustrations that I did following the Good Ship Illustration course. So the Good Ship Illustration is like a picture book illustrating course. And this was one of the assignments to design a character. So I went through it and I did the character. It's my little stuffed animal from when I was a little kid. And here we've got Cleopatra! This is actually the first page I drew on in this sketchbook. Cleopatra is my cat. She is one year old and she is just a little baby and I'd like to believe I get a lot better at uh, drawing cats later on. Um, for this one, I just wanted to use my Himi gouache that I had just gotten, so I just slapped some color on the page. And then I filled in this girl with just some color pencil. I started off the sketchbook in a bit of an art funk, so this was me trying to copy some other artists' styles to get some more inspiration. Here's some more playing with the Himi gouache. I really like how these trees turned out, and I like the idea behind this one, but I feel like it could have been done better. These are some of my OCs. This is like the very first drawing that I did of them. You'll see they change quite a bit. So this is Detective Inspector Fisher. And we've got Dahlia. And then this is her best friend, Avris. And so here we've got them some more. And this is Killer, the Devourer. Yeah, and then these were done with tumble markers and filled in with colored pencil. Some more Himi gouache. I really wanted to use it because I had just gotten it and I didn't know what I wanted to draw or paint. So I just kind of did some, just slapped some paint on the page and then filled it in with color pencil. This was me figuring out um, a cardigan I wanted to make. You know, I counted out how many squares I needed for everything and I crocheted all of the squares and I never put them together. So maybe I'll revisit that someday. This was kind of just a thought page, a little throwaway spread. Some more just slapping paint on the page because I liked how the last one looked. And then I did like a really messy bouquet with a brush pen. Some more flowers, uh, dahlias and daffodils. This was a spread that I kind of started working on and then I didn't really dig, so I just abandoned it at a pencil sketch. And then this one I liked a little bit more, so I colored it in. Just some more with my OC, so Inspector Fisher and Dahlia. So Dahlia is like a reporter and her friend Avris is like the gossip columnist. So they've got a really fun dynamic. It's like a roaring 20s fantasy sort of aesthetic. Um, you know, they can't all be winners. Here's a painting I did with the Himi gouache. Just some notes that I did over a thing I didn't like. And then these are some cover ideas. And then I took my two favorites and I kind of flushed them out more here. Um, these are some magpies. This got stuck together. So, um, the background I did with acrylic paint, because on this side I did alcohol-based markers, and I just went over it with some wash paint on top. And then this, I think, was acrylic ink. And yeah, I really like how it looks. I think it's pretty. These, I pulled out my Prismacolored markers that are alcohol-based markers, which means they bleed a lot. I just wanted to draw Dahlia just being a little bit fabulous. And then this one I actually liked so much, I redid it digitally, and then I also turned it into a little sticker. 
Boop. This, I was gonna do something on top of it, and then I didn't. This is a spread I did using uh, liquid acrylic. Although it was fun, I feel like if I were to do it again, maybe I do want to do it again, I want to redo it digitally, and I feel like I would switch things around. So I would have these three scooched over over here and this one over here, and I'd have the eye facing this way, or I'd have it on this side. Hmm, maybe I'll redo it. I went out with my friend, and while we were sitting having dinner, I like sketched the area out. I really like how this turned out. I think it looks nice. Another abandoned spread. Some more cover design thoughts. And then I added alcohol marker on this side, so it's uh, bled to the other side. But yeah, more Fisher, more Dahlia. I like this idea of like, kind of going for a Nancy Drew vibe. So Dahlia Rowan and the Ghost of Goblin Lane. This is a tree line. When I first made it, I actually kind of hated it, but I feel like it kind of grew on me. Yeah, I like the, the color mixing and the way it's a little bit rough. This was an animatic for something and then I changed my mind. This one was, uh, I abandoned my sketchbook for a little while and I was like, oh man, I need to draw something. So it just doodled whatever came to mind. So I've got some daffodils, some magpies, monkeys. Just some rough doodles, some more OC stuff. In this one I rediscovered my love for ballpoint pens. So just like a regular good old big ballpoint pen. I went over it with like a light blue ballpoint pen and then I colored it in with the dark blue. Some more thoughts. I went ahead and drew this one out digitally but I didn't really like how it came out. Some more cover thoughts. Um, a little drawing of Cleopatra, if she were a little kid. I did this spread with a different brand of color pencils. I usually use Prismacolor, but I saw another brand was on sale, so I tried them out and I decided I don't like them as much as Prismacolor. Here's where you can kind of see I become obsessed with zines. So I had an idea for a zine and I went ahead and I workshopped it a bit Doo -doo. and then this is the final one so yeah i made a little stamp so that i could stamp the back of my zines with it it's a little graphic little dahlia flower and then i had an idea for another zine for a nextel shaped like a nextel phone some more thought processes. These are just some thumbnails for pitch decks because I wanted it to be something that looks a little nicer and I drew it on top of another abandoned spread. This was another assignment from the Good Ship Illustrator. I just went at it with some crayons and I had a lot of fun with it. Try to keep it loose and a little bit childlike. These I did with those same crayons. They're actually really cool. They're over here. They're these Stabilo brand woody 3-in-1 crayons. So when you go over it dry, they just look like regular crayons, but if you get them wet, they go on like watercolor and they blend really nice. So I actually don't have a green. I only have these four colors. And with them, I made this. So. I really like them. I think they're really fun if you want to like mess around and get really playful with your art. Some more thought processes. I like the idea of this being a symbol for my OC storyline that I have. Some more Cleopatra. I, I did it with these woody crayons again. OC drawings. I was thinking about the different types of elves that there are. Another zine. This was a bit of a venting scene. This is a photocopy of it, but these are from the original one because I cut out pieces of it. So these little cutouts I did in the original one as well. So these are from the actual one. Yeah. We were at a family party and my nephew was bored. So I was like, here's my sketchbook, draw. So if you do that, 
you do this. My cousin wrote her name down. This was gonna be something, but then I ran out of time and I abandoned it. I did a little um, eraser stamp of a strawberry. I filled this out. And this is part, these are actually my thumb stamps. So I just stamped my thumb with some ink and I turned this into another zine. So these are actually all part of that one zine. And this is the zine. So it's que es eso? A silly cheesy zine. And so it's just part of a, I don't know, what, what would you call it? It's not really a game, but just something that we used to do in like elementary school, where you use your hand to make a sentence. Anyway, that's it. This one I did with the Himi gouache. I wanted to use the colors that were still really full that I don't normally reach for. So that's what that was. And then this one was indulgent with all the colors that I like to use. And then I went over it with Prismacolor pencils. I bought some acrylic markers and I just wanted to test them out. So this is the swatch. And then I drew some little berry guys. This was for another stamp. I carved this little paleta. So I did it two-sided. So I carved one side of the stamp and then I did the color fill in with another side of the stamp. And then I did a little TARDIS stamp to go with this scene. And this one is, so who is the doctor? A Doctor Who pocket guide. And it just goes over who all the doctors were. I missed a page. And David Tennant is in here a lot. And that's it. Another spread. I actually really like this one. Just some more OCs. I bought some more of those same acrylic markers because I actually really liked them. I guess I should say they're this brand. How would you ask? I don't know. Acrylic marker sets. So I got the pastel ones and the, and the uh, bold colored ones. So I actually really like to use these. They're really fun. Yeah, so I drew my OCs in a bit of a different style. And then I drew this. It's a little bit of Shady Hollow fan art. So those are like a cozy mystery book where the characters are woodland creatures. So that was fun. Um, I went to the beach one day, so I drew a little bit while I was there. This, I like the checkered pattern from the other one, so I kind of wanted to redo it. And then I drew on top of it with the acrylic markers. I wanted to do something loose and fun like I'd seen a couple other people do on Instagram. Um, and yeah, it was fun. I don't really like this guy. But I like the rest of it. These are just some more landscapes done with the woody crayons. I think they're just really fun. Something that you could just grab and just kind of scratch on top. And then you add water and then it just turns out really nice. This, I drew this one on a day when I was feeling crappy. And then the next day I woke up and I was like, you know what, screw that. So then I drew a happy spread. This is another thing from the Good Ship Illustration Club. Just some more storybook ideas. And this is the last page in my sketchbook. I don't know, I just wanted to do something fun, a little silly. And that's it. Well, that was uh, my first ever YouTube video, I guess. If you guys want, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Blue Sky, Threads, everything, you know? And I'm at Ferragotti Art on everything, so, you know, go and find me. I can do another YouTube video if you guys like it, if you want to see anything else. If you like my zines or if you like my stickers, you can go ahead and find them on my coffee shop. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!